When you journey past level 1000 of the back rooms, stuff starts to get pretty weird, I'm not gonna lie. And the level in today's video is absolutely no different than that. I've not gone over many levels past level 1000 since none of them are actually confirmed to be past level 1000. These are just new ones that people have explored. But since it's Brugtober, I wanna kick off this week of scary, disturbing levels with today's level. So if you like tiled, looping hallways with mannequins that follow you around when you're not looking and giant floating eyeballs, then welcome to Backrooms level 1411. Let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? So Backrooms level 1411 doesn't actually have a classification graphic, so I'm gonna make one for it. That's what I do. I'm gonna give it a classification of a class three difficulty due to its environment and its entities within, and it's just overall strange effect that it gives you. The level was actually created by another YouTuber named Nostalgia, and the description of the level is as follows. Level 1411 is a series of interconnected and interlooped hallways that are constructed out of a small tile. Think of like the pool room styles, but even smaller. The level's layout is kind of similar to level zeros and many others because it seems to have non-Euclidean geometry, which if you're not sure what that means, pretty much it means you could just be walking in a straight line, but actually end up behind where you started. Pretty much reality doesn't make sense. The level's roof above you is made out of tile as well, but it's black and not white or gray, and it actually absorbs light and sound which of course means there's gonna be no echoing and means that any light that's shining will get sucked up into the roof and it'll be dark in some areas. The level seemingly has these mannequins placed in very random spots in the hallways. The mannequins themselves are around six feet tall and they're made out of what we think is wood. They kind of look like those little stick figures from art class. You know the ones I'm talking about, but these are human sized. And these mannequins give off extremely unnerving energies and vibrations, and even though they don't have any eyes, you can feel them staring at you. And even if they don't seem alive, either they seem fake or whatever, they're alive. Trust me, they are. Each time you see a mannequin, you need to keep your eyes on that mannequin until you're out of its direct eye shot or until you can't see it anymore. Because if you turn your head or if you look a different way, they will silently move closer to you until they're in range of attacking you. Kind of like that Apirophobia level, but in real life. Now, they don't attack you viciously or claw at you or anything. All they have to do is to touch you. Just a basic tap or poke on the shoulder and you'll be gone. If they manage to do this, then your bones will fly out of your skin and you will end up as a pile of just meat on the ground. Just a lumpy sack of flesh. Now, even though your bones are gone, the horrific part is that you're still completely conscious and sentient. Like you still know what's going on, but you won't be able to move or talk or do anything because you're just a flat piece of meat laying there. That's gotta be one of the actual worst things to happen in the back rooms. I mean, that's, that's horrible, wow. But if you somehow make it past these mannequins and don't get turned into a lump of flesh and you wander deep into the halls, you're still not out of the woods. Because like I said earlier, this level is full of these dark areas and these dark zones where there's no light because the ceiling and the walls absorb it. These areas are extremely enigmatic and they almost act as a sort of pocket dimension within themselves. So if you're walking for one second in the light, you see this dark area and then you walk into it, you'll be enveloped inside of this dark dimension. The entire light that was behind you will be gone and you'll be in complete darkness until you continue to walk the other way out of it. These dark areas, of course, attract smilers and other weird entities that live in the back rooms. You might even run across a phobic centipede or a skin stealer inside of these dark zones. We don't really know what all lives there, but you can take a guess. These types of entities like this type of level because it brings a lot of opportunity for easy prey. You know, the mannequins will just take your bones away for some reason, and you'll end up as lumpy flesh, and of course that is easy prey for some kind of creature. It really is unknown why the mannequins do this, but we have some theories, and I'll go over the theories later on in the video, but for right now, you just need to know that it does play a role in the level. Even deeper into these strange halls, there lies more weird, just, stuff. The first is that there's rumored to be a strange, enigmatic, floating eyeball type creature that, according to legend, is from the very first victim that was turned into a lumpy flesh pile by a mannequin. 
And over the years, this eyeball that was small grew into its own sentient being, and now it terrorizes the deep halls of this level. Anyways, the eyeball floats around in an unknown way, and it's, again, sentient in an unknown way, but if it sees you, it'll chase after you. Its ultimate goal, of course, is to absorb you into itself. Now, the good news is this eye can only see in one direction at a time, obviously the way it's looking, and since there's plenty of dark areas and corners you can hide in, I'm sure that you could probably evade it pretty easily. And unless you can't, then you're screwed. If you do encounter and evade the eye, then the exit of the level will make itself appear. And if you escape that eye, no matter where you're at in the level, you can look up to the ceiling and you'll be able to see a green glowing exit sign. All you have to do is follow that sign and you find the way out. But again, it's not that easy because there is another strange creature that lurks even deeper into the halls. It takes the similar appearance as the eyeball, except this is one giant yellow smiley face sphere thing. So it's just like a sphere with a smiley face. The face tends to lurk near wherever the exit is, and it picks off unsuspecting wanderers that think they're about to make it out. Which is kind of sad. Imagine, like, beating the entire level, running to the exit, and then getting eaten by a smile. Most normal backroom stuff, guys. Cool. An even deeper theory is that this smile face is the head of that first victim from the mannequin, like the eye was. Which leads us to the strange effects that this level might have, and the theories we have on it. So the eye and the smile face are these large, weird body parts that have morphed into their own entity. They've developed a consciousness, they developed ambition and goals and a drive to eat and whatever. This leads us to believe that the level has the ability to take these body parts of wanderers who got deboned by a mannequin and evolve them into entities of their own with their own thoughts and minds. Now, it's unknown if the Wanderer has any power inside of these creatures, or if nothing of them exists anymore, just their physical self blown up to be bigger, but it's definitely weird that the level can take these body parts and turn them into stuff like this. You know, giant eye, giant face, what other giant things are walking around deeper? I mean, you're going to walk down and see a giant leg or arm walking around? We don't know, we just can't tell yet. To enter the level, you have to be in a mall somewhere, or on level zero, and then find a mannequin on display, you touch it, either on purpose or accidentally, and you'll get sent here and you'll wake up at the start of the level. And if you want to exit, you have to encounter that eye creature and of course evade it until the exit sign appears and then go through the door. Now that's only if you can make it to the door before getting eaten by a smile. It's simple as that. I mean, all you gotta do is avoid mannequins, dark areas, hallways, giant eyeballs, smilers, phobic centipedes, giant smiles, and strange non-Euclidean geometry. Sounds pretty easy to me. But yeah, let me know what your thoughts on this level are in the comments below. I really like the idea that it can take body parts and turn them into their own sentient beings. Like, that's pretty cool. Anyways, yeah, that was level 1411 and the start of Broobtober. All right, that was it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this explanation. This level was created by the YouTuber named Nostalgia. Go check them out in the description below if you want more. Their channel's really cool. Got some nice stuff on there. Y'all know what time of year it is. It's getting to be that Halloween time, which of course is my favorite holiday. And I love making videos around this time of year because the back room just fits Halloween so well. Hope y'all are hyped for it. This week, I have so many bangers coming out, so many terrifying things. I have more creepy stuff. All the things are coming soon. Make sure you get ready. Turn post notice on, leave a like. Thank you for all you do. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.